What is up guys, Rose Clan Gaming back, and I'm really, 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 really excited to bring you an episode of Ark Survival Evolved. What we're going to do is we're going to do a new season on Ark Survival Evolved. If you guys don't know about this game, you just need to watch. The game is beautiful. This I think this is medium quality. I don't know, it's playing pretty good, so I'm not going to I'm not going to mess it up. This is medium quality right here. This is one of my all-time favorite games, and I am going to do a let's play on this game uh single player for now. Um this is going to be a pilot season. I really want to um I really want to get my friends in here and start playing with them, but no one has enough equipment or the game to play this game. Now I've met a few people on public servers that would probably like to uh, like to play with me, but um, for now it's going to be single player. This is going to be a little a little pilot season, if you will. Um, so when you first get into the game, you're going to spawn. Usually you spawn on the beach. Um, I haven't played this game in like a month, so uh, usually you spawn over there on the beach, and that's usually the beach will be the safest place you could possibly go. Now, I'm going to have to teach you guys a lot of things about this game because this game is fairly, fairly in, uh, involved. Um, oh, okay, he's good. He's good. Don't worry about him. I'm going to give you guys a few tips right off the bat. Um, when you get in here, you're going to have a very large shortage of food. Um, food in the very beginning is very, very, very hard to come by, and you're going to have to overcome that. Now the best thing you can do is walk around and press E to pick up some berries. That's as simple as it can get. Um, press E. E. Now I have a tip that will really, really, really help you guys out when you start out. And even some of the big guys, they have a problem with this. I've seen. Uh, when you start, when you just start off and you get running around, um, you're going to be tempted to press, uh, what is it? Yeah, you're going to be tempted to hold shift and sprint. Uh, I'm going to tell you, that's a very bad idea. If you look at the very bottom right of my screen here, let me, um, give you a good background to see it on. You see down there, you have the, you have that arrow on top, you have that, looks like, a weight symbol, you have a water drop, your food symbol, the lightning bolt symbol, and the cross symbol. What that is from top to bottom is your experience, your weight, your water, your food, your stamina, and your health. Um, when you run, keep an eye on the bottom right hand corner of my screen. When you run, you can see that lightning bolt that's going down. Now when I stop running, here let me tie myself out. Watch what happens when I stop running. See how my food goes down? Um, there's a big, 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 big no-no. What you do not want to do when you first start out is just keep running around. That is that is probably the biggest, biggest mistake I pee, pee, I, I pee people do. I see people do. Um, so, you want to have a handful of berries. Now you press tab to get you to your inventory. Actually, no, you do not press tab. I'm sorry. The inventory, I, I believe, is I. I have it set to tab um, because that's what... Uh, I forget what game I played on. I think that was uh, Skyrim. Skyrim. It was always tab, so I... Just keep my inventory on tab on everything. I'm used to it now. So you have this hot bar, it's kind of like uh, if you would have played Minecraft or a similar game, you have a hot bar that has 1 through 0. Um, I usually set my berries on 0, that way when I press 0, I can eat my berries and see how my food's going up. Um, we also need some water. Um, I don't remember how this works. Yeah, you press, go into water and press E, but there's, there's going to be a better way I will show you a little later on how you can do that. For right now, we're, we're just trying to stay alive. And it looks like we get a level up. So what happens when you level up is... First, you have to... You have to pick one of these attributes. And I think for now, what I'm going to do... 
is I'm going to level up my weight. You always, always, always need weights. And every time you level up, you have to pick one of these first. Every time you level up, you get engram points. Engram points, this this is the bread and butter of Ark Survival Evolved right here. This is everything right here. Um, right off, what I want to do is I think I want to learn... I definitely want to learn the Stone Hatchet. Let me have five more points. Um, stone hatchet, and I, uh, do I want, no. Err, I don't know. You can always have a campfire. Campfire is always awesome. Okay. So, without further ado, let's get into the, uh, let's get into the game. Definitely, let's get in. So, just kind of, kind of like Minecraft. The first thing you want to do when you get into the game is go up to a tree and you want to punch it a couple times. I see at the top of my screen it says I added a couple wood, it's gonna say thatch. So I got some more thatch, that's good. Now let's hit this thing. You see how my health goes down too? When you unarmed attack anything like or or just gather anything like a tree or a rock or something. Yeah, you can punch rocks, it's pretty stupid. Uh you're gonna You're gonna lose a little bit of health, but that's okay, because we have enough food. Uh, if you've played H1Z1, it's very similar to H1Z1. Um, well, it is and it isn't. Because the more you move, the more you need to eat, and the more you need to um, drink water. But uh, I have a mantra. If you just walk around and you don't sprint around, you're going to be in a good shape. Well, we're going to go over in our inventory. If you go into your inventory and... See, this is where everything is in my inventory. If you go to craftables right here, click on craftables, you can see everything you can craft right here. This is from um, an inventory, um, what's, uh, what do you call it, sorting management thing I did before. Uh, you can create folders, put stuff in, but I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. So it looks like we need one stone. Now you can either punch a rock, um, that's pretty boring. Hurts you after a while. Or you can just go to a stone on the ground. It's it's very, very distinct. One of these big, big rocks. Click it and you get a stone. So I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of them. Now all of this stuff, see, look at this stone, has a weight of 3. We have a weight of 12. So this is our total weight. Usually once you get to about, I think it's like three quarters or two thirds of the way up, you start slowing down. Once you get to 110, uh, you cannot move. But of course you can upgrade this number later on. I usually keep it around 250 when I play on my uh, other characters. But uh, well, for the notice, let's create a stone pick. Then we're going to create the stone hatchet. We're really going to need that. So after you craft that, ends up in your inventory, you need to drag it down. I usually keep it on 2. I, I kind of do that in Minecraft too. Uh, you, no, actually, usually I keep it on 3. Uh, it depends on my mood. Um, then you can go up to a tree. Get, uh, when you use a pickaxe, you get a lot more thatch from a tree. So keep that in mind. You get some wood, but you get a lot of thatch. <clears throat> now, one thing I said I needed was... Hold on one second. <coughs> Still a little sick if you haven't been paying attention to my videos on Minecraft lately. Um, if you're looking at that thing right there, what that is, that's a supply drop, a supply crate. And if we were, that's a green one, level 15, you need to open green. We're only level 2 right now, so we get a while to go. There's a white one and another white one over there. Um,. Later on, we can get those, but for now, it's kind of hard to do. Um, when you look in the sky, that right there is a Quetzal. That's a very, very, very good, good dinosaur to have. And that's a Dilo. Um, um, shoot, shoot, shoot. I don't know if I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, no. Okay, we're back. It's only level one. We got this. 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 Oh, killed him. Got him. Oh, you can also. Oh, I'll, I'll show you next thing we kill. Uh, hey, we just got our first kill. 
How does that look? Uh, all right. Uh, we need to get flint, so we need flint to make the hatchet. We're gonna mine the rock to get flint. And any day now, we will mine through it. Someday we'll get a metal pick and metal hatchet, and these things will go very fast. Okay, craftables, wooden hatchet. We're just gonna throw that puppy on one. Why not? Oh yeah, see at the bottom left of my screen, uh, that the, uh, the snowflake is, that means I'm cold. Not much you can do about that yet, except for make a torch. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make a torch. And then this one down there, that is, that means you're hungry. That means you need to eat some food, so. Oh, I got raw meat from him. Okay, um, torch. We'll put more torch on three. Mm -hmm. So when you have the torch out, it'll keep you a little bit warmer. Uh, in this case, it's not getting me off the uh, thing. Oh well, uh, we need more berries. These are good berries. You cannot eat. Uh, well, you can, but you don't want to. You don't want to eat stim berries or narco berries, and I'll show you why. Uh, stim berries. They raise your stimulant, but they dehydrate you very, very, very quickly, and. You need a lot of water if you really want to eat these things. And they don't even get much food out of them. Uh, Narcoberries will put you right to sleep. And that is important for dinosaurs, but not for you. You don't want to be asleep when there's a bunch of dinosaurs roaming the island. Ooh, it's night time. Oh, I want that Quetzal. Okay. Um, now that we have a hatchet. Hatchets are good to get wood from trees, of course. That's kind of self-explanatory. Um, let me sp let's let's not sprint over. Let's pick up a couple berries while we're at it, cause we kind of hungry. I think we got the end gram for a fire. I'm not sure. We're almost leveled up right now, so we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, this uh, this one is good for flint. Now, if you use a hatchet on stone, on, on a rock, I don't know why, but if you use a hatchet on a rock, you get a lot of stone. That's kind of back asswards if you ask me, but... Arc. Some music. Get you in the mood. See, now we're very hungry. Also, every time you, you're swinging something, it uses a lot of stamina and you get pretty hungry. So let's go ahead and um, let's get some more berries. We need a lot more berries. Let's eat those. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Thank you. So Ark is about survival on this island. And you're stuck on an island with dinosaurs. Some of them are herbivores, and some of them are carnivores. Um, it's like a Jurassic Park, man. All the herbivores will generally not attack you, unless sometimes you attack them, they might attack you. Uh, Parasaurs do not. But some of the bigger, bigger ones, like Brontos, those are big. Those will attack you if you attack them, so just be careful. Be very careful. Okay, what I want to do is make my way over this way on every other um, server I've played on. I've always built over here, so we're going to end up doing that. Um, oh, what's that? Is that a megalodon? I think it's a shark. You can call me shark bait. Hoo-ha-ha. -ha. Okay, very quiet. It's very, very quiet. Ooh, I think there's a lot of them. I don't want to go in the water, though. Um, just keep walking, just keep walking. What's this? What's this? It's a dodo. We're going to tame a dodo. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to tame a dodo. Level 1, perfect. Perfect for taming. I'm going to show you guys how to tame today, since we got a level 1 dodo right here. 
Um, so whenever you want to tame something, you you have to knock it out first. Now the easiest way to do it is usually a bow and a trank arrow, but that's later on in the game. Um, for a small guy like a dodo, all we gotta do right now is we just gotta pretty much punch him. See how he's knocked out now. Unconscious. I'm gonna show you all the uh, everything to do with the taming, if you will. See the unconscious meter right there? What that is, is the torpor of the animal, and we're gonna get some of these on quick. Um, See, so he's about two thirds, a little over two thirds, maybe right about now. He's about two thirds, like up on his unconscious meter. Well, right there, 20 out of 30. That's about two thirds. So his torpor rating is how unconscious he is. Once he gets to 30, he's full unconscious. Once he gets to zero, he's gonna wake up. But we don't want him to wake up. So we put the narco berries on him. Remember that makes you sleep. So blackberry makes you sleepy when you eat it. So um, mm -hmm. kind of like narcotics, you know. So we're gonna put those on him, and we're gonna remote use. That will raise his torpor. Now this food bar right here is what you're gonna re you're gonna give him berries, and it's gonna replace some of that food. So he's gonna eat. And if you watch, see how he's taming? Look at that. We have a dodo. Let's call him Rick. Rick, it just sounds good. Okay. Um, Rick, you need to give me my berries back because I am hungry. And I am about to die. We have to go... Um, here, follow me. We have to get some berries or we may die. Ooh. I'm sorry, level. I can't really tend to you right now. I'm trying to stay alive. Um, 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 torch. That will help us not die because we're a little bit warmer. Okay. Use item. That's it. Okay. Oh, you also have some azul berries. We have three more. Hopefully nothing comes out and attacks us. And kills my dodo. Kills a brand new dodo. Mm. Oh man. I love the beginning of every game when you're first starting out. It's just the best feeling. Going through the whole process again. Now since I haven't played this in a while, uh, a lot of things have changed on the game. And... I'm really anxious to see a lot of the changes, like a lot of new dinosaurs, uh, just new features in the game. I'm excited. This right here is a Carbonemis. Carbonemis? Car Carbonemis. Whatever. It's a turtle. Um, turtles are nice for. That's a pterodon. No, sorry, pteranodon. Not a pterodactyl. Do not get it confused with a pterodactyl. A pterodactyl has a tail. Pteranodons do not have tails. They are real dinosaurs. They were. Uh, this is a turtle. He's a good kind of tanky guy. They have a lot of health. They are very hard to kill right off in the beginning. Um, so I'm not going to mess with them. Uh, let's go ahead and tend to this level. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. Let's see. The more melee damage you have, the faster you can gather things. So I'm going to go ahead and get one of those. Um, water skin, that's very important. Very, very important. But I think for now, we're gonna get this spear. And start going on some armor. Let's cover up my ass first. And do that. Look how beautiful I am. Can, you, can we just take a moment and, and, and look how beautiful I am? Oh man, I love it. Okay. A little more food. A little more food. Mm. <sighs> this 
spoiled huh meat also one thing i will show you guys later is whenever you have meat this isn't like minecraft or most other games when you have meat it has a spoil timer and it will spoil and even the spoiled meat will spoil it's pretty funny how that works um, but spoiled meat is important there is nothing in this game that is useless everything in this game has a use so what I tell people when they're first starting out is see how I'm, I'm picking these plants and I'm getting a lot of fiber from them well the fiber is used to make clothes and it's also used to make everything else later in the game usually when you pick a lot of berries like this and you get like 800 you get a thousand fiber and you got no use for it because you already got your cloth armor do yourself a favor build a chest and save it because you will need it big time you will need it um, i'm gonna go ahead and craft some of this before i die also crafting guys crafting gets you a lot of experience early on anything will get you a lot of experience but later on uh, especially building materials if you build like foundations and anything to build with you get a lot of experience for that and uh, have an armor on gets you a little bit warmer it's really nice to have you won't die as fast Let's see I need to get going in this food situation also um, one thing to keep in mind is when you have a pet see how these medjo berries will will uh, will spoil in eight minutes you put them on him it what would you say about four times it, they last four times longer so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna keep all my berries on this guy hopefully he just doesn't die and meat meat lasts longer too so we're gonna keep all these things on there um, seeds you can actually eat uh, I guess you can eat those. Do not eat the berries, no. Um, one thing we need, we really, really need to build is we need to make a campfire. And a spear. And another spear. So we're going to go ahead and use this. Um, that means we can go ahead and place it wherever we want. How does this look? I like it right there. I'm going to go ahead and turn my gamma up for you guys. So you can see a little more what we're doing. Uh, isn't that cool? Cool effects. I don't like it, but they're there. So to operate a fire, all you gotta do is put some wood or thatch in there, and magically add a thin air, just light the fire. No problem. This guy have a level yet? No, he doesn't. Okay. So we get all our stuff resting on him. Uh, we still need to eat more. Okay, I'll tell you what, since we have the fire, let's go ahead. We will get this out of him. Put this on him. And after a couple minutes, it will cook. Now, remember what I said about the fiber? You're gonna have so much fiber, so much fiber just running around getting berries. Don't get rid of it. You're gonna need it. Even charcoal, you'll need that later on. You'll use charcoal for when you're making guns, or making dye, or... You know, everything in this game is important. Take advantage of everything you get. Especially like rare mushrooms and rare flowers, you'll find those on top of mountains. And in swamps, like that right there. Those are very important. You guys need to keep those things. Oh, look at the terrain of dawn. So peaceful. Okay, so we got all our food cooked. Um, we only had three of them. I already ate one of them. Go ahead and put that on eight. And I'm just gonna gobble those right up. Look at that. Okay, we also made some spears. Now spears break, so you want to make multiple of them. Now we're gonna go find something. Wow. Wow. Die. Die. We're gonna find something to kill. Don't mind me. Um, let's get a vantage point. There are baddies out here. <laughs> There are bad animals out and about. 
so you need to be careful. There's a dodo over there, so I'm gonna go kill it. Uh, remember not to sprint. Doing pretty good on food right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little more. And one reason I want to kill this dodo is to get some more food. And oh, maybe we can tame a second one. Maybe we could just have a dodo army. What do you guys think about that? Thumbs up for a dodo army. I'll do that next episode. Um, but for now. Get a little food. Good enough. Um, let's find that dodo. Now, these should be really easy to kill. Oops, uh, you know what? We do need a female dodo, though. Okay, so if you guys want meat from any dinos or any creatures use a pickaxe if you want meat no i mean if you want hide use this i think i'm gonna go ahead and get hide because i know i'll be all set on meat here soon what level is you maybe i can kill you what level is you bastard those are actually um the carnivores but they're the only carnivore that won't attack you uh, well birds that and um, dimorphodons and there are a couple carnivores that won't attack you oh boy what level are you we're probably gonna get a crack stomp he doesn't see me that's weird <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and walk away um, scorpions are bad <laughs> Scorpions are bad. Okay. Uh, you don't want to fight with scorpion. Okay. They're very bad. That hurt. Oh no. Don't go into the scorpion. What that turtle? Can we make more spears? What do we need to make more spears? We need, we need some more wood. Put all my wood in the fire. That's okay. We'll just get some wood. Make sure we don't go over on the weight. I think we'll be okay for a while. Okay. Is that good? We'll make some spears. I'm gonna show you guys how to kill a turtle. I mean, it's not impossible, but it, it's fairly difficult. Um, you gotta be on your toes. Is he stuck? I don't know if he's stuck. I just don't want to get attacked by that scorpion. Okay. I think he's stuck. Wow. No, 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 no. No, don't, 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 don't. Bastard. Well, he's stuck, so this is easy. Let's go ahead and make sure we can hurt him. Where are you? Why'd you turn around for? That's an idiot. See, they take a lot of hits. They have a lot of health. I already broke two spears. You can also throw spears, if you didn't know. Pull it back. Right in the butt. Right in the butt. Why won't you die? I'm hit you in the face. You gonna attack me or not? Okay, we'll just punch him out there. Broke a few spears. Okay, he's down. Let's go ahead. And let's get all of his hides and his meats. Okay, never mind. We'll get all his hides and his meats. And another level. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Um, I will continue this probably tomorrow. Uh, once again, this is one of my favorite games of all times that has just recently come out this is actually an early access alpha game and man i love it so much they they, they pump out new content all the time and it's just every time you get on you have something new to look forward to uh it's just an incredible game it's beautiful it is absolutely beautiful um i remember I, I recommend everyone get this game and come hang out with rose clan how's that sound We'll make a server. We'll play on the server. How's that sound? <laughs> Alright, we'll see you later, guys. Have a good one.